am uh, I'm in the process of putting some songs together. Uh, I have been for many years now. Everybody's like, when's the next one coming? I don't know. So, but I'm in the process. And hopefully, you know, if it doesn't come out before the next BSB album. We will have to see, but hopefully within within a year. How about that? Within a year. All right, the next question right in front of you over here. And then that has nothing to do with the documentary. <laughs> this is a question to all of you. Which one is that? I'm here. Oh, sorry. Oh, there you go. That's um, so any one of you can answer. If you was gay, and you had to choose a partner from the group, who would you choose? with Kevin because he's got a very big So who knows where this next album that we're going to do is going to take us, if we're going to go somewhere new. So plus also, the producer, Orange Refn, lived in London. So we kind of... That's the real reason, actually. Went. It was convenient for him. Yeah, kind of sort of. Hi, um, I, this is more of a comment rather than a question. But I wanted to thank Kevin for what he shared in that yeah. with the documentary. And the anniversary is actually on the 31st. I just can relate very, very well. And I just wanted to thank you again for sharing that piece of your soul with us like that. Yeah. I feel that, so I just want to know how you feel that without it 
Um, it's hard. There's, uh, you know, I get emotional. You guys know I get emotional quite a bit. <laughs> Have a tender heart as well. Oh. Oh, I used to we say, love you, Kevin. My papa. Our grandfather he used to cry every time we'd have family gatherings uh, for the holidays and we'd get in a circle to pray and he'd look up at all the grandbabies and the brothers and the sisters and we'd say our Thanksgiving prayer or Christmas prayer. He would always cry and, you know, I think I'd get a little bit of that from him. But, um, yeah, it's, you know, I just try to honor my father with the man that I'm trying to be. I'm not perfect, nobody is, but I just try to, you know, live the way that, that would make him proud. You got close. Yeah, you're perfect. We love you, Kevin. You're perfect, Kevin. He loves you, too. <laughs> I love you, too, AJ. I know it for a fact. He just told me. Right here. Do we have another question? We got a question up in the upper left. Upper? Hi. The question is that obviously you guys mentioned that you had a lot of ups and downs um, in your careers. So if you could tell your younger self something, looking back on your career, what would it be? I'd like to say that, you know, you don't, I mean, I'm, I think we're proud of who we are and where we came from, you know? And I, if we had to go back and, for me, go back and say something, I'd just be like, just enjoy the ride all over again. Because it was amazing. as a person. I think that's why you guys love us, because we aren't perfect, like Kevin said. So. We're not perfect, you know? We're all going to make mistakes. I don't think I would tell my younger self anything different. Um, I, probably the only thing different would, for me, I probably would have got my hair done sooner. Um, besides that, I think I'm about as perfect of a version of myself as I could ever be, so that's about as good as it's going to be. You know, uh, looking back on the things I've done, <laughs> I was trying to be someone. Uh, you know, I really played a part. Uh, I kept a lot of people in the dark. And it's important to show the shape of your heart. <laughs> stand-up shows Friday, Saturday. Come and see it. I'll be here all night, for real. Hello. Hi. Um, I kind of have a two-part question. It was, you know the documentary is getting released in January in the US. Is that also in the UK and Europe? That's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I've got my voice. Sorry. I love the accent, I do. Uh, most likely it's looking like February for, for Europe. That's what's looking like right now. And also just to ask what that can change for you guys as well. What's next for the bachelor? Well next New next record. year we're gonna we're gonna go on tour in uh, in Central and South America and Australia. Because we have not taken the inner world like this tour to our fans in uh, Latin America. We're gonna hit the Pacific Rim as well, like some probably Southeast Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand. Oh and we're gonna China. make a brand new album as well. So. <laughs> we're, gonna start, we're gonna start the process. Yeah. We'll start the process with that. <laughs> Hi. I love you, Hi. Go for it. Uh, when would you say the most uh, beautiful or special place when you look back in the world? There's a lot of them. <laughs> There's not one. There's yeah. even one place. I mean, it's every place. You know, that's if you look in this room, there are people from all around the world. You know, we have the most amazing fans worldwide. And we love every single one of them, and they, they hold a special place in our hearts. We love you guys. 
every country is the same when we go there. I mean, it's like that song, it always feels like home, and it's true. For me, it's it's not a country, but it's a, it's just a certain location. It would be November 27th at Cedar Sinai Hospital at 4:55. She only pushed 12 times. Sorry ladies, that had to go longer, but literally, only 12 times. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, when you were filming the documentary, what was one thing each of you learned about one of the others that surprised you? Or that you didn't know? Gotta wait and see. I think when we did the uh, going back to each other's homes, which I don't know actually how much you guys saw of it, but uh, that was something we really wanted to do because, you know, we've known each other for 20 years, but we didn't know each other previously before that. I mean, well, Kevin obviously and Ryan knew each other as cousins, and I kind of knew this new brick over here, Andrew, a little bit, <laughs> some acting stuff. But, but we didn't really get a chance to know life before Backstreet, so that's something we wanted to go out of our way to go to each other's homes. And, um, we really went in and learned a lot about each other. I mean, I think going to Kevin's, uh, the, the, the church, the, the place that you grew up, um, well, the Ken Browns. Cathedral Domain. Cathedral Domain. Yeah. <clears throat> like, we had heard Kevin talk about that, you know, for many, many years, but to actually go there and see it, and to go to AJ's school, um, to go to Nick's school, and, and to see each other where some of us grew up in our different neighborhoods and stuff like that. It was really, I think, Every day, we did it for, what, three days, I think? One day, AJ yeah. down in Florida, and then Orlando. We actually went back to some of our old stomping grounds where we did some of our first rehearsals, and then uh, a day up in uh, Kentucky for Kevin and Brian. But I think each day, I don't know, I felt closer and closer to each of us here. And um, it's strange because we had already spent 20 years of our lives, but you, we actually even had a, a, even a stronger bond after doing that. So it was very emotional. It was very educational. I thought it was cool to see uh, AJ's teachers that really like kind of took took the instinct that they had of his talent and and his his passion for acting and theater and singing. And it was neat to meet them and to hear them tell stories. It was neat to hear Barry Turner and Brian reminisce about Brian being in chorus and and when Barry first heard Brian's voice and. It was cool to, to meet Nick's teacher that inspired him. You know, it was really cool. It was cool to, like, how he, they didn't show it probably yet. You guys probably haven't seen it. There's a really neat story how he shares. I was going to talk about that. You're going to kick out the of it. The one with the rabbit. That's something I never knew about you, but I'm really glad that you didn't do it. Even though your dad did it later. And they don't know it yet, so don't spread it yet. Something really, something really, really cheesy. Yeah, something really cheesy though. Nick has a scar on his on his knee, and we never really knew like the whole story. And then to go see where he got hurt, the fact that his dad told him like he didn't really believe in hospitals, so his dad just took him home and stitched him up in the house. Real like ghetto version of stitching, you know. And, that's why he's got the best looking scar on his knee now. That's called a redneck hospital. Yeah. That's, that's how you do it in Tampa, boy. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, I'm going to have a comment rather than a question. Hi. I'm from Western Kentucky, and it is not near as beautiful as Eastern Kentucky. So that's my comment. My question is. <laughs> Is it true that Kevin and his wife got married in that cathedral we saw? Um, we got married at the campground there, but we actually, there was an outdoor, and I wish we would have, we walked right past it, and we should have walked up into the shrine. It's, it's an outdoor, like, chapel with, like, stone benches and a stone altar. It's beautiful. It's built right in to the side of the mountain, so it's really, really pretty. Yeah, Thank you for your question, Judy. So we got married in the uh, in the outdoor chapel outside, but we did get married at that camp. That's where we got married. The guys all came up for that. It was awesome. And believe it or not, Kevin cried. <laughs>